In this quick little demo, we're going to show off the Fiddler autoresponder features. So let's take our Fiddler website and let's go back inside Fiddler and, and quickly we'll actually change the filter down here so that we only look at web browser traffic. Clear the session list with Control X and go back to our web browser and hit refresh. We'll see all of the requests flow through Fiddler. Now what we're going to do in this demo is we're actually going to change the response of this page and then play that back later. So let's grab our Fiddler 2 homepage and you can even see it in pretty printed view with the syntax view extension. So we're going to make a change here. We're going to right click and choose unlock for editing. This will enable us to make changes to a session that's already been completed. Normally this isn't very useful because the browser already has this, the old session that hasn't been modified. But you'll see in a moment why this is useful. So let's change the title of this page to this page was modified by Fiddler. And then we'll right click the session and choose unlock for editing again to lock the session again. Now we'll go to the auto responder tab and we'll say permit automatic responses and we'll drag our modified session into the, mod into the auto responder list. Now anytime we subsequently request this page, Fiddler will play back the previously captured and modified session in response. So if we go back to our web browser and refresh, you should see the title of the page has been modified. And you can see, even though the page is still downloading, that the page title was successfully modified. Now, let's do something else. Say, for instance, we have this fiddlerquickstart.ping file. We can examine it using the image view. Next time this is requested, let's change it. Type BPU to breakpoint on URL, and then hit Control i to paste the currently selected URL. Hit Enter, and you'll see that a request URI breakpoint was created for that image. Now, let's go back to Fiddler, or the, the web browser, and you'll see this image down here. Now when we refresh, we note that Fiddler has hit a breakpoint for this image. When we select it, we have the breakpoint debugger. Now we can break on the response if we'd like, and the server will return a response. But instead of returning the response that the server gave, let's instead choose one that's been previously captured. I have fiddlergif.dat, which is a small image, and we'll return that instead of the expected ping. If we go back to the web browser, you'll see that our image has been replaced with the modified image that we chose. This was just a quick little demo of what you can do using the autoresponder and breakpoints.